two, one. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Alrighty Stutz, down here in the barn. Right here in the barn, we got the wood pile, we got everything we need down here for the guillotine. So right now we're looking for supports that are going to help hold our posts upward. Because we have two posts, we don't want to nail them together, it's going to flop around. So we want to help these posts get as much support as possible. So right now we're looking for a connecting board. And I'm pretty sure you all understand the concept. So you have two boards, you stack them on top of each other, they're not going to hold. But, just like that. But if you take two boards, one, two, and then you take another board, slap her on the side, slap her on the other side, she's going to be nice and stable so she's not a little wonky boy. The posts that we are using are like those circle ones back there. They're just stacked on top of each other, and that's not going to hold. So we're looking for something that's about the same width of, as those, and uh, roughly the same height as two of them. And this looks about right. We just need about 20 feet of this now. So the concept we were just talking about is basically this. So it's a sandwich of this board and that board, and these are our two circle posts going up all the way. So we still have leftover posts, and because this is more of a flat edge, that's where we're gonna put our sliders for the guillotine. Yeah, and it's just gonna be like 90 degree angle steel stock, and then wheels on yeah. it. It'll be nice and smooth. Perfect. So we got our next little task. So we need to finish up these two sections of board, and we have one board that is 78 inches. And we need 40 inches on each side, but this side doesn't really matter because it's what we call the ugly side. Because people have a good side and an ugly side. Stutz has all ugly sides. In 40 inches both sides. And the other side is what matters because that's where we're putting the tracks. Yeah. And that's the side that needs to be flat. Yes. So this is our end product of the posts at least. We have a post comes to a tip because this tip we got three feet of post going into the ground as our support and same thing over here but these things have just turned into gigantic toothpicks look at that it's huge this is i think it's 14 feet but half of it's going to be in the ground and then you got a tip here tip there so what's left to do is get tracks finish building the guillotine get the bench done, and start slicing people's heads off. Stutz, you're first. And uh, other than that, that's really all we need to do. So yeah, we're coming for you, Stutz. King Stutz, the 16th. I just showed them what work we had done so far. Right now we have two giant toothpicks. Yeah, two that's very... We'll pick one up. Beefy toothpicks. They're about 14 feet long and pretty straight. <laughs> Cause when you got when you got fence posts sitting in the ground for 20 years and then they're sitting in your barn for 20 years, they tend to you know wonk a little bit. But we use straight boards bending the other way to bend them straight. Yeah, and those straight boards are gonna be what holds our track. And eventually yeah, the blade. Eventually the blade. Because the original blades actually weighed 100 pounds, believe it or not. Yeah. And that, and it somehow still didn't cut through people's necks. Like, literally, I'm surprised that was one chop. He's got some thick bones. But, I mean, you just hit a vertebrae right and you're all good. Um, original guillotines were actually like 14, 15 feet tall. And this yeah. is. This is only 10. This is only 10. Only. 10. O only 10 feet. And that's. Add. We're probably not going to bring it to school. Definitely not, because these are they're sticking in the ground three feet. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, because our original plans, we were doing kind of a three-way support on the ground with a cross joint to the other one. 
Yeah, but then and we found the posts, and, we found and the it posts. would just be way easier to anchor these yeah. in the ground. Way easier. And we still have extra posts that we might use depending on how stable it is once it's in the ground. But with all this melt and water, it, the ground's going to be like mud, so I feel yeah. like it's going to be an issue with the blade. Because the French didn't have to worry about that. They had a whole platform, they had a whole stage, they're cutting people's heads off. Yeah. In that reign of terror, jeez. I mean, terror. Yeah. And hey, Stutz, I'll bring you McDonald's too. I got some, some Maccas. McDonny some, boys. Some frappuccino. So yeah. Abram will be here next time, I think, and Jeremy. So the whole squad will be rolling in. Guillotine boys coming at you hot. So Abram got here, and the man kind of knows how to use a saw. Hey, Matt Stutz just left. Boy. Stutz is boy. Oh, jeez. So I'm gonna have to bleep. I'm gonna have to bleep that. All right. <laughs> I give up. We're using the table saw. <laughs> <laughs> the happen. table saw is buried, so we're gonna have to move it over here. Cause this is where I park my car, and the car is right there. Don't take my license plate. Um. Take his license plate, Stutz. Steal the identity. I'll kill you, Stutz. <laughs> Actually, no, we're guillotining Stutz. So. Yeah, Stutz, you're going in first. So steal my license plate while you can. So. Abram and I are going to work on, um... Oh, she's meant... Oh, no, not anymore. Abram and I are going to work on making the blade, because Matt and I finished the toothpicks, and he just left. So, oh, the plan is we're going to make the blade two feet wide. Matt and I are originally planning to make two um, toothpicks, is what we're going to call them, two feet wide. But... Yeah, but we're not going to do that. So we're going to make the blade two feet wide. And then next weekend, we're going to work on a like, wheel system. We're going to work on a wheel system to get the blade from point A, heaven, to point B, the not neck. heaven. The neck. I don't know if I can say that. Is it? Would it be? Ah, let's say it. I, if, I heard if you're saying the place, you don't have to bleep it. But if it's like... Let's just not. <laughs> yeah, because someone's going to get mad. But... We're gonna, so I need to buy more stuff and then we can get to work on finishing up the toothpicks. Cause today is like... The setup. Today is setup and we are getting everything ready. So Abram and I are building the blade before we get the actual blade on. Cause we're gonna get a piece of metal, sharpen it down, screw it to the blade, and... Pick up some mannequins. Pick up some mannequin heads and mannequins and just... Chop. A couple pictures of Stotts. Yeah, yeah. And then, so we got a whole table in the barn that we need to grab and throw some plywood on it, call it good. Um, yeah, it's going to look pretty good. I don't know what I'm going to do with the whole guillotine after this. Donate it to charity, you know? Yeah, I think goes... Donate it to France, they could use another. Yeah, true. I think, um, Hope Gospel Mission, I think it's called. They, oh, yeah. Maybe they'll accept it. Set up a whole pulley system for them, you know. Yeah, and we still need to get the pulley system done, so we need to figure that out. A couple of uh, wheels and stuff. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do about that. Probably some big old rope. Yeah, well, I have them a whole pulley that they could probably use. We're literally planning stuff right now still. Like, Matt and I had everything... Full sins or no sins, you know? Yeah, and everything's going to change as stuff happens. It'll probably be painted something. Who knows? Yeah, we'll paint it, maybe. We'll see. Right. Stutz, we're coming for your head. King Stutz the 16th. Jeepers cripes, bud. Stutz. So there's a bunch of snow outside still because it's My winter. My socks are wet. And his socks are not wet. So now voice. Matt and I discussed this while we were down here. We're going to use our old ski rack for a table. This? Yeah. So we put skis in here in the winter because we go skiing at our place, cross-country skiing, regular skiing, snowboarding. All the above, got plywood, so that's going to go slap down to there, and Stutz is going to lay down, and choppity chop chop chop. Yeah. Well, Stutz, we sent her, you know, as you <laughs> Austin's not going to listen to the, put this in first and then put the plywood on, but. This is how Matt and I did it. We literally have, we had boards sticking out like two, three feet. Well, it looks like I'm sitting in the trunk to hold everything in there. Um, all right, Austin. One rule, don't fall out. Uh, I have out. I have all the other rules. Don't I get drive too fast, Austin. That's not in the rules. That door is still open. <laughs> Whatever. Hi Stotts. Hey Stotsy. We breaking mini laws today. Oh, there's no handles. Yeah, that's your problem. You yeah, gotta follow tell. your rule. Don't fall out. I get the other. If you fall out, you're gonna run me over. 
so. Matt and I did. We just kind of vibe. I'm tired. Does this count there. as texting and driving, or is vlogging and driving also illegal? I don't know, Austin. <laughs> You're just buckling yourself in back there. I'm redneck buckling. I'm. Totally I'm like looking myself. at the mirror, and I just see Abram like with seatbelts. I'm redneck seat in it. All right, hey, hold hey. on. So I live up Austin, the hill. Stop speeding. Hold I'm not speeding. I'm also looking at the camera and not the road. So I live up a hill. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall, Austin. Ba follow your rule. <laughs> What do you think these are for? <laughs> oh man, but I live up a hill and it gets icy in the winter and that didn't make it last time. Yay yay! Yay yay! Oh, that was some nice echo. Oh, I forgot to turn around. Austin. <laughs> no. All in your lineage. <laughs> Alright, am I good? Yeah, we're all good. Alright, Stutz, we still- Abram still doesn't know how to cut wood. So I'm Austin, that's only because you won't let me use the table saw. Well, yeah, you're going to cut your finger off. Well, do I? I have 10. Do I need all 10? <laughs> I mean, I just need my right hand, really. That's my dominant one. That's hard, yeah. right? That's all you need. I don't need a thumb. <laughs> all right, hand her over. All right, there you go. Uh, we don't have safety glasses. Oh. <laughs> I have white pants. That is a mistake, bot. Oh, she's meant. The reason that the blade doesn't cut right is because it's it's not it's not it's not straight. Like some act like children a lot of times. Other than that, <laughs> Austin, I don't think you can use that. Yeah, I'd have to cut that too. Ah, um, it, it was well, just bleep, so you have no idea what I said. Well, that means I can go. Oh, World War Three. I had to bleep that too, and this is what I do. I build guillotines. Just for today, though. And if you want the guillotine, just, I'll take 40 bucks. Um, Vin, yeah. Vin Moham. Vin Mo me, 40 bucks. Guillotine's yours. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. He takes cash offers, you know. I, I take cash, Venmo. Stuss, we'll take your car if you want us to. Yeah, you know? we'll do an even trade like that. But now we have a table, and I think this is the right side. So if you're playing, ooh, mint. But this is the wrong put... side. This is the short side. It's just, we don't have to count. Don't worry, bud. Look how perfect that oh, is. Oh, it's mint. All right, Stutz is going to lay right here. So if he's laying right here and the decapitator's right there, I think I think this is good. Oh, you know, she's mint. You're going to need to build the uh, <laughs> head holder, you know? Yeah, so we'll build the head holder next. Um, get the blade prepped. and uh, Prepped for the blade, actual blade part. And... Yeah, we're coming for everyone's heads, cause... First Stutz, cause he gives us homework yeah, all the time. Yeah, first Stutz. And, and then we're just, you know, gonna go we'll safely take, for me. We'll take the whole hockey team, too. Oh, always. Yeah, cause... Sorry. We'll take all the perms off, away. Sorry, bud. Other than that, um, we're oh, set. We're doing haircuts with this as well, so, yeah, you know, hit haircuts. us up. So, Abram, take this. Oh, wait, so, recording. we're we're doing this again. Abram asked how tall... Is this Matt and I actually did not plan this? We just took two of these, slapped them together. And if you see that right there, that's um, she's mint. It's 420 centimeters, which is also 170 inches. Perfection is what I call that one. <laughs> we need we got your uh, chair. We got your chair. We just explained this in the last clip, actually, not really. We didn't explain of. anything. We don't, we know, what we're don't know what we're doing, honestly. It's guessing. But what we know next that we need to do is get this head clamp thing done, and we need a measurement of your neck. So please send that to us as soon as possible. Yeah, Whoa. I'm going to email you tonight about it. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, because it's a Saturday. Uh, what should we get in? Inches, centimeters, or millimeters? Makes stuff work. Yeah. So, so yeah. send that in diameter in inches. Yes. Or whatever you feel like. So, so we the reason know. that they actually did the, the head clamp thing was because people were, people really didn't want their heads cut off. We'll you know, they wouldn't really sit still. They didn't want to sit still. Oh, you know what we're going to need? We're going to need some belts to cinch people oh, down. Oh, you need belts to cinch people down. And we need head clamps, sense. and we need, like, a lot of them. Because with the original guillotines, it was like a sandwich, so the blade can go right through the sandwich. And we need... Here. One, two, three, and four. But the right top two here. are gonna need to like hinge. 
It'll need to be right here, though. Well, it's not going to go on the table because... No, because it has to, so that way their neck can fit through it a little bit, and that way there's room. Well, the table's going to have to slide into the toothpicks, and this is going to have to go on the toothpicks. See, we're still planning. We don't know what we're doing. Um, Game plan. So we don't know how wide the toothpicks are going to be, because the blade is two feet wide currently, and it may get wider with the wheels and the tracks and all this fun stuff. So we have planned. This piece of wood right here is going to be like cut through your neck and we're gonna cut that in half and we're gonna go to the barn and get more wood to cut so we can hold your neck down so you're I'm driving safe. this time don't worry no 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 no, no. I'm right. scared of that that nah. is something I'm very scared of I'm a great down. driver all right so here's the we got our next sheet of plywood road safety laws be prepared to be ignored part two <laughs> exactly oh, before you start I need to start the car that and I need to do my redneck stuff because I'm not falling out of this. Austin, I swear to God. I'm not falling yet. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> See, my gas gauge doesn't work. That's also an. And all I know is that I'm almost out of gas. This is. Stuts, I'd like to comment on the fact that the only thing holding me in here is the fact that I'm, you know, tying this together. Yeah. You know, the neighbors are just watching us. Hi, neighbors. Constantly get wood, and there's a car coming. That's very nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it just waves. Oh, you're going to have to censor that one. I just... Oh, you did that. I did. You... Oh, my God. We're going a little faster this time. Austin, I'll end <laughs> it. I swear to God, if I fall out of this car. Oh, there's not much to end. <laughs> Hey, there's the ladder. I found the ladder. What did we Whoa, there's a car there. <laughs> I swear to God, Austin, you hit my van, I'll kill you. <laughs> I was to your van. I'll end your life. We got both planks here. And guess what? We didn't do math, but they're exactly the same. They're perfect. They're perfect for each other. They support me. They're you know? both the same width, the same length. She's and mint. So the both of them are eight feet long, and we're going to probably cut them in half, four feet. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to use the table saw again. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Austin, Austin, Austin. Unless. I got it. I got it. Should we let Abram learn? All right, I'm gonna set up a time lapse and we're gonna see how long it takes Abram to cut. Abram cutting this in half. See if I know what I'm doing. Yeah, no. see if we can do it. I and I'm gonna cut this one with the table saw because that's fun. Yeah. Turns out Abram can saw to an extent, and my phone's gonna die because yeah, I have not charged labor. it. But manual labor, let's go. So I need to cut the other one in half, and. So we may not record that, or we may we? not record that, but we will record the final product. Psych, we are doing it. So I'm showing you more of the process. Abram went to the bathroom, so I cut this to the size of like a megaphone. Boom, done. So now, like this is how you get like everything about the same. You just mark it here, cut the next one, but use the same template. I just missed it. Use the same template when marking every piece of board. And uh, there they all turn out about the same. And it's kind of head size because it's a megaphone. You know, just for comparison, just to make sure. Stutz, I think your head is a slight bit bigger than mine, so it might work. <laughs> Woodsman. Woodsman. <laughs> She's mint. We'll just leave her there. Oh, perfect. So I just told Abram this. So if you look very closely, right, right there, there's a whole mallet just chilling in the tree. No one knows how it got there, but you know, it's fine. It's mint. So this is a good demonstration on how to use a template. This is the original template. We cut that one. This is also a good demonstration on why you don't let the kid that can't see you. Yeah, Abram is blind. Legally blind. <laughs> Legally blind. I probably should not be driving at night, but don't send it anyways, boys. 
It is night. We are all... Watch out for Abram on the road. Yeah, I nearly ran into <clears> Matt. <throat> he doesn't realize it, but I like was in a few feet of his car. So The roads are like... So it's a one-lane road out here. And two cars don't fit no. on this road. And, you know, you go fast. You go fast, because why not? But, yeah. It's cut. So it's cut time. So I'm going to do this it. one. Straight into the neck. Mm, there's like a point, but you can't really see it. You know, it's a little bit pointed, but there's no such thing as sandpaper. And if I'm wrong, here's a clip of me being wrong. All right, where do I? Put I this? really don't want to be wrong though. That's something. Where do I put this on? Oh, unplug it before anything. Yeah, unplug it before I actually like, kill myself. God, why do I trust him with a saw? Got all of our sawing done. So that's all sawed. We may have to do more sawing for the blade. We actually didn't do much at all. No, for the blade. I mean, we got a decent amount done today. So, though. Abram and I got a decent amount done. We built the table to an extent. We just need to put screws in it. You want to do that now, actually? <laughs> yeah, let's do that now. Is and that, then. Is that the place of the plank? Huh? Is that where we want the plank? Yeah, it should be fine. So, we'll screw it in there. Where are you screwing? And depending on what time this guy's got to go home, so it's already dark out. I got enough. We will time. work on the blade. I've got a view. Depending. Yeah. So that's our stack of headboards. Stutz boards. Stutz boards. That, we'll call them stutz boards, yes. So we got stutz boards, toothpicks, operation table. I don't know, table. And then just a blade. We need a blade for the blade. <laughs> but yeah, we're set. It's go time. All right, Stutz, day two. We're getting ready, digging the new post holes for the guillotine posts. Jeremy's out here this time. <laughs> <laughs> and we were gonna put the guillotine all the way up oh. there, but there ended up being like a huge layer of sandstone that you can't really get through with the post hole digger. So now we need to cut down three feet and put the posts in. Okay, we just finished stamping in the posts, putting the headboards on, and here is the product so far. And so we actually realized that these, that these can't be nailed in because you need to get a head in there somehow. And so we just grabbed some logs laying over there, nailed them in, and we're calling that good. So now, you put your head right in there. That's where Stutz's face is gonna go. And yeah. So here's the guillotine so far. We put the posts in the ground finally. And we have the boards that hold your head. And it looks a lot smaller now that it's actually set up. Yeah. Cause Stutz said it would three be... feet of it are underground now. Yeah. Stutz said they're gonna be six feet and this post is six feet. Yeah. That's like, not a lot. <laughs> no, so it's probably only like. Yeah, we still need to put a cross board on the top for the pulley. And we are going to not lift the four wheeler, but we're going to work on the blade that chops now. We need to find metal and sharpen the metal for the blade. And then chop. Chop, chop, chop. The blood of our enemies. The blood of our enemies to the revolution. This beats running to the vending machine before class. Alright, so the next, um, the next step of the guillotine is getting a blade. 
and then, which this may be our blade, <laughs> and attaching it to our blade, I guess. Just putting a blade on a blade is what we're doing. The blade on the blade mount. Yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. And we just cracked open some blinds. So, other than that, I think we're pretty much set for the rest. So we need to put some weight also on the blade because, well, it's a, it needs to cut somehow. So, we're gonna find some boards, put it on the blade, and then put eye hooks with rope going through them, and that's gonna help guide the blade straight down. We're just gonna figure out a way to keep the blade from twisting. So it goes right between those two pieces of wood in the bottom for your head. Yeah. So it cuts it right in half. This is like Stutz taking a bite out of that Big Mac. Mm. Right in half. Yeah. Stutz makes those burgers look small. So we're back down here in the barn. We're not looking for wood, actually. We're looking for some metal. And we got some metal from the old blocker. Um, I think... We talked about it last time we were here. So there's shelves that go inside the locker and we're just gonna use those as our possible blade. All right, so last time we were out here, you couldn't even see the chariot wheel. There's the whole chariot wheel. There's so much snow melt, it's insane. Like we can actually like rip around on the four wheeler and exactly hey, there's the nice. guillotine. This is so beautiful out and we can actually get stuff done. It's warm. So we're not gonna use the license plates. We're gonna use the shelving. And this is gonna work. We just need to cut it. Choppy chop. Aw, they're still stuck together. Jeez. Jeez. Don't dent it too much. Apparently that's not working. Now we got two. Instead of cutting, Matt came up with the idea that we're just gonna fold these in half and then sharpen them and then put it on the blade. So we're gonna do that real quick and then call that a blade. And Abram should be on his way soon. It's about four right now. So easy dubs. Oh, wow. I think we're good. That has to be good. That's definitely sharp enough to cut through vegetables. Easily. Or heads. And the board's onto the blade to make the blade heavier so it has more velocity when it's cutting people's heads off. The whole squad's here. Um, hey, Stutz. So, a couple of cantaloupes and stuff. Yeah, we got some fruits. Same thickness of your head. Possibly. About the same. About the same. You know, it yeah. is what it is. Okay. Huh? Guillotine's cut next, but today we're going right through the skull. Um, you know what's funny? My church is coming over at like 6.30, and they're going to pull up and just see a, a guillotine. Oh, chilling. just mint. It's just perfect. Um, Want a cookie? So whatever's, so what's next is getting the blade ready to be dropped, and... Other than that, I think we're ready to chop some heads or necks. Let me take a big old bite. <laughs> you won't. You took a whole bite. Just for you, oh, Stotch. Here, we're give me a bite. Started first. Yeah. It needs gas. It's way too much. Austin, take a bite. Jeremy, you need to take a bite. 
I don't eat vegetables. I don't eat vegetables, so no. Alright, that's lettuce. Well, that's done. Lettuce! Let us, let us, let us end it all and cut some heads while open. <coughs> test cut. I mean, you missed the first one, but here's a test cut without anything. And like, oh god. That's like a foot. That is terrifying. That is. Do you know how dense that cabbage is? It's denser than my will to live. <laughs> Isn't there none of that? Look at this. Look exactly. at that. I'm like, try to squeeze that. Like, that's like, a, it's a dense cabbage. It's like your skull dense. Not going to be able to outdo a mat on this. <laughs> cabbage is dense. Yep, not happening. She's gone. And all food that we destroy will be eaten. By, we got some squashes. By someone or something. Some pristine cooking conditions. <laughs> We're gonna make a salad today, Stutz. <laughs> we just All right, oh, so this is Dora, and this is our new ladder, also. Um, Cause, you know, real ladders are for not cool people. Do we have left, do you have some screws down there? Yeah. So our plan currently is gonna be... Oh, a crossbar? This needs to get screwed up there and then... Oh, awesome, I'm coming up, I got this. Dora may go down. You get the tripod? Oh, would you look at that? That's another one of my worries. I dropped the whole screw. Where'd it go though? Exactly. <laughs> but where? Which direction did it go, Matt? Down. <laughs> <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. <laughs> Need one of these? I don't know what it is, but you can buy it from Austin. Five dollars. You know, this is kind of sketch. Thanks, Stutz, for the amazing support. Stutz, endangering the lives of children since when was he born? 19, like, 50 or something. Yeah, he's a boomer. Are you zooming in on my crotch? Austin, if I was, you would know, all right? Because you'd have to zoom out, right? Oh, let me just... <laughs> there we go. Nice and zoomed. Go in! Just harder! <laughs> That's what she oh. said. Oh, hand me a good old cantaloupe. Austin <laughs> deserves one. Okay. Here, here's this. <laughs> Set her there in the door so sweet. Where's the... Awesome. Alright, this boy is actually over 100 years old. It was used in our So, Suts, it's about the same age as you. Yeah. The king has returned. Oh, he's got a sword, Austin. Ah, yes, I do need the sword. <laughs> oh. 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 oh! Oh! Matt, did you just drop that on your toe? Yeah. Ooh. This is a real ninja. Check for the con connection on those. First test drop, max height in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Easy. Stutz, that's your face. <laughs> <laughs> that was so smooth. So we're gonna do a cabbage. It's a lot like a human skull, very dense. It's just a matter of getting the blade out now. <laughs> Oh, pop the board off. It's broken. Oh no! It'll work. Oh, that's attached to the wheel. <laughs> Someone's got some firecrackers. Right, so the wheel is no longer attached, and it is no longer balanced. Unimportant. It's a, it's a head. 
the fall of Stutz in three, two, one. Woo! <laughs> oh, I came off the pulley again. Whatever. She's healthy. <laughs> the fall of squash. Squank. Three, two, one. Oh, Woo! Um, I gotta open up my cookie. <laughs> oh, if fine. this opens my cookie, I will actually eat oh, it. Up my cookie in three, three two, two, one. Ah. Hey! I can eat my cookie now. Alright. Yay, I got a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> it just impaled the whole cookie. Oh no. I'm still gonna eat it. Grab it old. Grab it old. I'm gonna eat it. Here, no. I'll hoist. Go grab all the keys. Go. Keep pulling. Ah, yes. A cookie. This is mostly just to hold it. You have to lift it. Guys, it still tastes like a cookie. Oh no. Um. So we'll cut it like, um, if you ever need, um, Mr. Children. <laughs> we got you. You're going to have to censor that, Austin. Dang it. Hey, wait, All right. wait, 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 wait. We're just going to call this the C-cut. Oh, I hate you. Because I can't say. Children. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put some cabbage in. Pray for me, boy. <sighs> oh, there's already something in there. All right. The C-cut. <laughs> Three, two, two. One! Woo! Yo, uh, fire your doctor. Come to us. It's free. <laughs> if you get corona, you're coming here first. Done. Woo! There goes the lemon, just like we said, rolling down the hill. It's a lemon. <laughs> Three, two, one! Oh, that almost hit me in the face. I'm impressed. This works I have well. a cabbage. That's a cantaloupe. It's a cantaloupe cabbage. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Boys, I'd say we made a freaking successful guillotine. For a whole guillotine. And look at sunset. Nah, it's a party. It's a party sunset. Lift her up. I'm going in. I wonder how tall it actually ended up being. Oh, get the tape measure. Um, juice. we have guillotine juice. I hope I don't get parked in today. Yo, it's actually good. I'm not licking. Get get some guillotine juice. I'm not licking stuff off the ground. Austin. Guillotine juice. Austin, it's, I know. It's not I even off the ground. Look at that. I'm not doing that. It's not even off the ground. I'm not. It's actually so good. Do I look like a hick now? You were, looked like a hick before. <laughs> yeah. It's literally wedged. Like the wheels aren't even attached. Hold on. I'm gonna rip it. Bet. Matt, why don't you just rip it in? I can fuck it. Your Uber's here. Good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is the process of getting a guillotine. She's broken. Alright. Um, we're selling the guillotine. Um, it goes in. I'm not. I'm, I shouldn't put my. Fat. Things that we've learned about <laughs> building a guillotine. It's way harder than building a chariot. It works way better when I'm not chair. here. It's tall. It's so yeah. tall. How, How tall, tall did it end up being? I think Probably. those posts were 14. Like tippy top. Ba da 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 Um, the final height, it's 14 feet. Man, plus like an extra two underground, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Three. So, then the posts end up being like 420 inches or centimeters. So, the posts are 420 centimeters. That's what we have learned. Do with um, that information what you will. So, that's, I have a feeling we can all take a gander at what you're, you're uh, going to do, but share with the class as you deem fit. Yes. Um, so, it's over by land. Um, I have something for you. It's a, it's a nice gift. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. You can put it on your roof. You can put it on your roof. Scare off the birds. We built a working guillotine. We built a working guillotine. What have you done?
Um, this is going to be a highlight of my year. I will say that. Yeah. Oh, corona. Corona. <laughs> corona gang. We will be, um, we're going to be the Corona gen. Crow gen. Right? Crow gen. Yep, Crow gen. That's us. Uh, they built a whole guillotine. A fully functioning guillotine. A fully functioning, almost full size guillotine. Because the originals were like 15 feet tall, and this is 15, but the functioning height is about 10. I think building a guillotine was a success. Yeah. Um, other things we've learned. Ooh, that sounds um, solid. We, we're good at woodworking, we're, but this yeah. takes better woodworking than we are. Yeah, this is it kind of. So it looks very good at the start of day one, or no, day two. As you saw, this took two days to build. This is this took two days to build. Yeah, that's impressive. Hire um, us and we'll build you a house. It may look jank in the end. Well, It'll work. It'll break wood. after like two days, but you know it's held together by wood and very few screws. I there's literally two screws on this piece of yeah. wood, and it goes. But it oh, cuts. Who knows how high it works? Oh. Yeah, we're cracking. <laughs> He's also <laughs> falling yeah. down the hill. I learned how to how to help. How to help. Yeah. Just and. Uh, other than that, guillotine. It's a guillotine. It's literally a whole guillotine. Guillotine. It's the not end. Easy. It's so it's, hard. <laughs> it's a guillotine. It's just a lot of. This really makes us look like hicks. I swear we're not. We live in the city. I don't. Obviously. I mean, you. I live in the city. You don't. We all live in this city. We're not hicks. I don't know what you mean. Children a lot of time. Children a lot of time. Children a lot of time. Look at all those kids. Us World War Three. Us World War Three. Us World War Three. Yeah.